Hello there. Okay, today we're talking, I'm a critic, and uh, we're talking um, Star Wars, um, the sequels. Now, uh, um, we, we, we're going to be talking about these, um, and how they're relevant to the orig original movies and the prequels. Now, looking at um, the Star Wars, the, the Force Awakens, and the characterizations that they brought across to us. Now, you've got to look at the story they're trying to tell and the way they're reinforcing this by giving us characters that are lonely but and need a family. Now, you need to resonate with this character. You need to believe and have feelings for them. Now, looking back at the original Star Wars is, when you take into context that they was uh, they come from a family, but in, in the prequels, now these characters... They do justice because their roles, um, they, 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 they can create compassion and they give us belief, which takes us from one, one um, scene to another and it gives us ideas that might not be related to the script, that diminish any um, lack of understanding that we may have for the one before it. Whereas they're coming useful because the, 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 the arc of the story it actually points to... Um, a point in the, the movie where you you feel that compassion you want to you, you're willing for the the hero you're willing him along now you didn't get this so much in in the in the sequels like that drive now i think when you've got a character base and you take this character and you ref, ref, um you, you you show understanding uh, but he has to have that spark and charisma but also you have to be able to relate to him now put into perspective the characters from the, the the prequels and how um, say Darth Maul Mule was seen as this antagonist and this character that we didn't know nothing about. But uh, in the Force Awakening, we didn't get that. We knew about the character. We knew about Ben Solo because we knew about his background. But that into perspective works because we don't know where it's coming from and that the storyteller is telling us from a different angle and we're not seeing the point that he's trying to make because. Our view has been distorted by the fact that it doesn't take um, understanding of the one before it to go to go with what we know. And my belief is that this kills the story because it doesn't take you from where you was going with the with, with what the director wants you to feel. And that is a real shame because these stories, these, these films could have been so great if they'd only took that perspective and looked at it from that point of view. And I think that that would have worked, and like it worked in the originals, because it definitely worked, because um, we got we got that climax at the end, and, and uh, we, we, we're not getting this because of that reason. And I think that in filmmaking today is the one thing that we're not getting enough of. We're not, getting, we're not seeing it from that side of the coin, um, which the originals did do this brilliantly. Now, looking at the Monday ones, they're also they're seeing the story through the storyteller's eyes and not through the audience, how it perceives that universe. We're not getting that because they're creating it as they go. And the understanding of this doesn't resonate with the Watcher. And he feels left out. He doesn't feel like he's part of that universe. Because, like the first ones, you, you know, you're that involved in Um you know, that's what's wrong with these um, sequels. And um, that concludes my video. I hope you've took a lot from this. Um, on on, um, on my thoughts on the Star Wars sequels. Um, thank you for watching. Enjoy.